various networks you know i i design them for for various activities and stuff like that so that's my job um uh, been in the industry for about 20 years have been working in and around of this networking and data center space for the last 20 years um, have worked almost every state in india connecting all of these um, you know my previous organizations computer department um, through various network devices um, so i've been a part of that uh, team for quite a while and then i worked in multiple countries um, i've worked in canada i'm currently in australia um, yeah so that's that's pretty much about me and then what we discussed was um pretty much what i do today uh, about networks um what is networks and what is the purpose of um having networks uh, networking as a as a as a domain in the information technology space hang on a sec give me a minute okay amu can you stop um go in go out sir yep close the door thank you uh one second anil please record okay please record this session anil Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. recording. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So, um. That's um. In a nutshell. So, what we spoke about was about networking. Um. In 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 the in the space of networks or in the domain of networks. Why do we have networks? And what is the sole and whole purpose of networking? Um. We also spoke about various types of networks that are available. Um. we also i think uh, spoke about uh, you know uh, how does certain network works i think anyway um i'll come back to that today uh, just to give a bit of a re- recap um pretty much networking is all about exchanging communication or exchanging information uh, which uh, you know uh, yeah, as as one of our participants was saying it will be helping people in some way shape or form um so exchange um networking is the means by which uh, various devices or computers or any of those devices which are connected together um interacts with each other there are different types of network there are very local network um within the house or within your home office which is called a soho network we spoke about a local area network and we gave the example of a school um having a, a small classroom having a network which you communicate between each other we also spoke about um, um wan a metro area network called as man um all of these things and today the the purpose of or the plan for today's session was to discuss about um internet um just to give a bit of an interest to our uh, our little audience um i thought i'll talk about internet which probably everyone uses and uh, for those who knows how the internet entire stuff works from a technical standpoint uh, i thought it might be of some interest to one of you one or some of you okay um so we spoke about benefits of networking okay so just to give a bit of an a context um so the reason why i have got a slide pack is just for me to ensure that i'm talking through every single topic um don't waste your time going through reading all these things uh, because it's just for me and just to give a context us on what i am going to talk about um so please don't waste your time um you know going through the uh, reading the slides that i am presenting it probably might not help uh, and you might lose track of what i am talking which is probably more important than we want yeah so the whole purpose of this chat is just for you guys to understand what is happening and please keep talking um um and i i that that will give me a bit of a idea as to whether you guys are adding any getting any value out of what i am talking right so it's it's very important that if you ask questions or you 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 talk about what you know or you ask about this slide pack because it's just for me to give a bit of a scripted idea as to what i should talk to you that's why i'm putting a slide pack okay um so we spoke about computer networks in probably in some details uh yeah we also spoke about um 
some standards which are used um, for these devices to communicate between each other. And those standards are called protocols. Um, so we will talk about protocols in detail in the forthcoming sessions. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is what I talk about, spoke about Soho Enterprise Network, Service Provider Networks, LAN and WAN. Um, please stop me if you feel uh, it's a bit complicated, ask me questions and then I can explain it or dump it down to whatever level you want to. Okay, um, yeah, so just to give a bit of an uh, idea, um, so this is probably uh, something which I have not discussed last week um, or I'm going to reiterate this this week. Um, is about protocols. Um, protocols is nothing about, um, you know, as I said last week, there was, if you want to communicate between two devices, which are geographically apart or physically apart, um, and you individually want to um, uh, develop your own means of uh, developing a front end screen, for example. However, what I am sending it to you needs to come to you and then you need to be able to see it. Um, a typical example being email, right? You know, you might have all used emails in your communication. Um, um, so you might be talking to your friends or your teachers or your, um, you know, um, <clears throat> your family through emails. Uh, but assume this way, right? You know, you've got a um, say, for example, Arush. Arush is looking, not looking here. That's why I'm calling out your name. <laughs> Arush is wanting to talk to Keshav, for example, or Ar Arush wants to send an email and Arush, suppose, has got a Gmail ID and Keshav, for example, has a Yahoo ID, for example, or a Hotmail ID or a you know Outlook ID, for example. Um, so if Arush wants to talk to Keshav and Arush uses his email uh, to send, hey, Keshav, how are you? Um, uh, you know, I'm planning to have uh, a play date or let's ha let's plan a play date probably next Sunday. OK, so you're sending this email. Now you are using your Gmail as a front end. OK, your, your, you know, where you enter your email. But Keshav is looking at his Yahoo ID because you're addressed him at his Yahoo ID. OK, or Outlook ID. Uh, so Keshav looks at his Outlook front end. Keshav has a different front end altogether. Um, so what will happen, right? Uh, when a Gmail person or a Gmail holder sends a communication to Keshav, who is an Outlook holder, both of you wants to see that information, but the way the um, front end understands the content and then translates it into a text and then send it across to, through the network to Keshav, who is losing out using Outlook? <clears throat> you know, Outlook understands certain part of the message, but Outlook doesn't understand how Gmail looks, and Outlook doesn't have to understand how Gmail looks. So, um, so um, various organizations came together and thought about this because you know you can't have one way of doing it, which is kind of one way for everyone. So, it this this particular. Uh, so they, they, they decided that you'll put up a standard and that standard will be the standard will be used by every single person to read or write things. However, how you want to present things is up to you, right? You just follow a standard and that standard is called protocol. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, you know what I am talking or is it confusing? Makes sense, yeah, okay. So now that I'm able to see Arush and then he's shaking his head that I'm getting a confidence that, okay, something is getting translated. Yeah, so, um, which is good. Thanks for that, Arush. Um, so in, in terms of uh, protocols, um, what does protocol help in? Protocol helps in standardizing the way information is passed from one device or a person to another device. It also gives a structured way of, don't bother reading what I have written here, okay? So don't just listen to what I'm saying. It provides a structured mechanism by which one tool or one person sends the information and receives it on the other. Um, just to give an example, another example, think, think about a scenario where you were sending emails or uh, you know postal mails from one person to another. 
um, everyone writes in English or Malayalam or Hindi in the paper, which is readable by everyone. But how you envelope it, the type of envelope being used, the color of the envelope doesn't really matter. However, what matters is, uh, you know, what is put in the content of the email or the email that you send across. What internally you are using is you're using a language which is known to everyone which is a sort of protocol. You also structure it in such a way that when you write an email, right from your small school days, when you write a mail or a letter, what you do is you start with an address or you know, you're addressing the individual saying that, dear so-and-so, how are you? And you have got an introduction, you've got your main body of the email, you've got a conclusion, and then you say, you are faithfully, you are sincerely, best regards, you know, um, blah, 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 all of that, right? You know, you've got a structured way of doing things. So that structure has been followed in IT communications as well or network communications as well. And that structure is called as protocol, okay? How does the protocol help? The protocol help in transferring information on any language or any, any methodology that they can use, but all it does is, if you think that Arush wants to develop a new email tool, Arush will just have to go through the protocols. What are the standards that I need to follow when developing this tool? Arush can, uh, Arush can you know, uh, structure your front end in any way you want, in any color you want. All it matters is the content from one person has reached the other, okay? So all of these helps in, in uh, data communication and hence, um, there are multiple standards which are being developed uh, from a networking layer. When it goes to the deep networking layer, you've got something called, I'm not sure if you've heard, you've got TCP IP. Uh, there is something called as HTTP. HTTP is a hypertext transfer protocol, which you type in your URL in the web browser and then say, okay, I am trying to see someone else's web page using this protocol. That is what you say by saying HTTP www.google.com. So Google has got a, a collection of pictures and collection of content developed and kept in their server. The moment you type HTTP, it goes and you know picks up that information which is available on HTTP and publish it back to the person or render it back to the person. That's how things works. Does it make sense what I'm talking about? Are you able to? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm able to understand. Any questions whatsoever? Yes. No questions still now, sir. Thank you. You don't have to serve me. My name is Jay. You can call me Jay. Jay is much smaller and uh, better than Jay Krishna. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, don't bother reading this. Um, I'm just going to ask one of you. Um, uh, maybe Vinayak, can we talk? Can you unmute yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, what do you understand by internet? A group of networks. Okay. Any, any other answer or any qualification to that answer? Can you say that again? I didn't know. Sorry, say it again. Voice broke. No, I'm, I'm asking, is there any, any more um, qualification to that answer that anyone else can provide? It connects uh, devices through Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyone else? May I? Yeah, yeah. May I? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Who, who is this? Can you talk? Uh, you do you want to say how does internet work or what is internet? Yeah, what is internet? That was my question. Yeah. Uh, internet is a platform yeah. where you can share your opinions. Internet is a platform where yeah. you can share your opinions and do your works, shoppings, and many things. Very proper doing things. Okay. It's happening. Internet. Yeah. So who was this? Who was talking? 
Arush. Arush, okay. Yeah. Me? Yeah, okay. Arush, hi. Um, yeah, that, that, that was a good answer. Um, internet is a platform where you can share your information, data, and then your, you can view information, see information, render information, whatever. Okay, so now I, I, I probably, I will not go deep into the, um, you know, the, the, the theory of internet um, because I still want to keep our discussion into uh, networking. So I will probably focus more around um, networking um, for this session. Um, yeah, but the answer that you gave was spot on. Yeah, it was good. And both with Vinayak and Arush, that was good. Um, one of the things, um, a couple of more questions that I have, right? You know, how does um, your home internet work? Does Can one of you other than Arush and Vinayak answer? If not, we'll come back to Arush or Vinayak. Yeah, so uh, internet is like, uh, you have a wireless network which connects, mm -hmm. which connects your system. And that is a connection through Wi-Fi. Your device is connected to the internet. Okay. Yep. Um, so through Wi-Fi, uh, you connect to internet. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that's a. That's how it works at your house. Yeah. Um, any 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 other any other answer that anyone can give? Yeah. May I? Yep, yep, please go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Internet works by people that they want to do some things, then they connect the internet that and the internet works. They yeah, they connect the internet, uh, internet with themselves. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the internet works with the people. The people are the main cause there. Without people, no internet. No, that, that yeah. that's how internet works. Social. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. So, okay. What are the basic stuffs that you do at home um, to get you connected to internet? Arush, early morning today, you wanted to connect to this session. Um, so you're obviously sitting in some part of the world. Um, yeah. um, we are all chatting together through a medium called internet. Um, uh, uh, assuming, uh, you know, you had not turned on your computer or a laptop or iPad or whatever uh, that you are using to connect. Um, assuming it was not turned on, can you please briefly tell me what are the steps that you do um, and then I'll stop you in between and then we keep discussing about that, okay? Um, mm -hmm. So what are the steps that you do to make yourself available to us for a chat? First, I would yeah. take my mobile. Yeah. And connect to the internet platform. Yeah, the Dharmi platform. Uh, when you say you. platform, what, what platform do you use? Uh, I use three platforms, Geo, Geo, Idea, uh, Autophone. Then, okay, uh, okay. So you are in India, are you? Yeah. Yeah. First, 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 okay. Background. Yeah. Uh, then I connect to that. I'm audible. Yeah. There's a background problem. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. So I connect with that. So my mainly social services or chat things work. We are conducting Zoom now. Those there's a chat box. Then I take Zoom. Then I click the chat box. Information type down. Mm -hmm. I send it. So I send it to yeah. you. Then the information transforms to your in a social networking. Um, what I say. So there's something you know that the, that line which connect to you. Then the information will be connected to you. Then okay. you know okay. what I said. Yep. All right. Yep. That's 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 fair because that's one way of connecting to internet. Any other means that anyone else is using. Uh, other than using your mobile um, connectivity to <coughs> connect to the session. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyone else? Um, Vinayak or Anil, I can only see three names just right now, but I, I'm pretty sure there are more. Rishi, Ritesh, Keshav. Anyone else want to give an answer?
Anyone else, guys, please? Don't worry about getting it right or wrong. I mean, this is not a, this is just a group discussion. So it's nothing, no problems in have, giving a, there is nothing called as right or wrong answer. It is how you do, okay? So I just want to understand, um, you know, I want to pick, start from the basics and then, uh, you know, take you through the various means of connection. That's why. So I just want to understand, um, Arush says that he uses his mobile to connect to internet. Um, Ritesh um, or Rishi or anyone else can volunteer and say how you connect to internet if it is different from what Arash does. No, no. Everyone connects through their modem. I mean, sorry, it's through their mobile. Uh, only chat, I can see someone chatting. Uh, sir, I am, am I audible? Ritesh, uh, you are not audible, man. Uh, I don't know why. But uh, switch on the router, okay? Also oh, use use the router. Yeah, good way. Okay. Um, why is Ritesh not audible? Um, is it because you're oh there you because you're not uh, asked to unmute unmute. Please unmute yourself, Ritesh. Yeah, you should be audible now. Ritesh, you there? Uh, sir, am I audible now? Yes, yes, you are now. Great. Okay. Um, so you switch on the router, which yep. is the base of the internet connection. Um, yep. It sends signals globally. So okay. when you want to chat with someone, mm -hmm. you need a device which can send these internet connections. So that is what a router does. So first you're going to switch on your router. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So that's another way of connecting. So let me start with that, the router as the means, because I will come to the mobile broadband and mobile internet a bit after, because that will be a bit more complicated than the usual way of doing it. Um, so let's start with this, right? Have you heard about something called as modem? Yeah. Unmute yourself, Arush. Arush, you are talking on mute. Yeah, I've heard it. Okay, so what do you think is a modem? Modem is a network thing, a network thing used to connect to computer, laptops. Okay. And to desktops. Yeah, that's what modem does. Okay, so um, I don't know if you have attended the sessions which um, on computers which um, Leon took. Um, um, did any one of you attend that session? Have you heard about binaries? So I'm going so up. So the zero one, zero, zero one combination. Exactly, computer. exactly. So any communication which is happening with the usual devices that we use from uh, computers or uh, mobiles and all of those devices, um, they are called devices in the networking uh, networking space. And these devices can only understand zeros and ones, which are called binary digits, right? Anything and any information which is translated from one, um, say for example, there is something called as you know, a, a character A has got a binary value, equivalent binary value, a character B has an equivalent binary value. So it's just the zeros and ones which are um, transmitted across. Okay, so there is nothing else. End of the day, if you type a letter, Arush types an email to Vinayak or Ritesh, all Arush does is um, write uh, some letters in the email and that all those letters gets converted into zeros and ones. And those zeros and ones gets transmitted from one device to another through a medium, could be cable, could be Wi-Fi, could be... Uh, satellite or whatever, right? So end of the day, it is zeros and ones which gets um, transmitted. And those zeros and ones are called digital digit. Yeah, um, that, that's, that's what is called as a digital, uh, to put it much more simple. Signal? Uh, the, digital signals, yes, digital signals, thanks. Um, so <clears throat> now, um, just to go back to your class eight or class nine, um, what is, when I 
when two of you are sitting in a room and when you talk you know there is something called as some something which goes from one person to another by which the other person understands that you are talking and that's called voice have you heard of you know you might have heard about what is a voice and that voice is in science called a voice signal is that right everyone agrees with me yes or no 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 one agrees okay all right so they they are called voice signals okay so the voice signals um i'm just giving you a bit of a background as to why all these things started and why all these things why all these technologies of modem and all these things came into existence and then we move into internet okay in in the in the world of voice signals um you might have heard that the voice signals starts from 20 hertz to what 20 anyone knows what is the um signal range for human audible voice do you know 20000 20000 or it's called 20 kilohertz yes sir 2k yeah um um i just give you an example right um pretend you are going into a ground into a cricket ground and you want to you want to uh, you have a, a a a soft ball or a soft um sorry a piece of paper okay you make crunch it up you make a ball out of it and there is another person who is standing on the other side of the other side of the uh, ground do you want to throw this paper crunched ball to the other side and the distance between the two sides is about 150 meters you know this high a a a sample a small ground a medium ground um do you think you can throw this piece of paper crunched up to the other side straight away no sir why is that uh there might be disturbance in that atmosphere in which when you throw there might be wind and uh, which obstructs the way the paper goes Okay so what if it is a cricket ball can you throw it from one side to the other side Yeah why it may be possible why, why is there no disturbance for a cricket ball but why is there a disturbance for a for a paper Because the paper is so lighter than correct correct Likewise is our sound okay when the sound which is traveling at a 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz which is a human audible sound you can only um, make it audible to someone who is very closer because you will have a lot of disturbances which will cause the sound to diminish or in other words in the world of physics we call this interference okay have you heard about interference no sir okay. yeah you will if you have not heard you will soon in your next year or which i don't know which class you guys are but you know in the next one or two sessions or one or two years you will hear about interference and you know distractions and all these things in the world of science all it is is to a disturbance which causes something to reach somewhere else you know if wherever is the start to the end if it can't really reach there in the stipulated time or the expected time whatever which causes that to delay is called as interference let let's let's take it so lightly so in the case of a paper paper is really light paper is more prone to interference than a cricket ball now what is a way of sending this paper across can someone tell me you have a paper and you have got a cricket ball now what is a way to make it reach you know the cricket ball reach but you know the paper doesn't reach what is a way to get it uh, get it over Take the paper to the cricket ball. Perfect. Yeah, exactly the same logic why a modem works. Okay, so I'll tell you this, right? So what you did was in a cricket ground, you had a big ground, and you've got. Excuse my drawing, guys. I'm so poor at drawing, but I'm just giving you a bit of a. Um, so there are two ends of the ground. You are sending a a paper, which might not reach there in time. So you're covering it up. uh 
covering the paper with a cricket ball or <laughs> so other way around cricket with a paper and then make it send here right it reaches without any problem the recept the recipient of this knows that okay there is a cricket ball inside i don't need to worry about it all i need to worry about is the paper so what he does he takes it he catches it he takes the ball out throw it away read what is in the paper okay that's how the modem and demodem uh, modem works a modem is a device which converts a small voice signal for example which is only uh, between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz it it wraps around uh, something which has got a bigger bandwidth or bigger frequency okay so in in the world of science you consider a signal in the form of a wave okay have you heard, have you seen this have you seen this yes sir yeah okay so what you do is you actually you know sort of stick this small signal voice signal on top of this so the 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 first signal which is used for to carry the signal from one side to other is called as a carrier carrier sorry about my writing but the the actual signal which is the data which has to go from one side to other will climb on top of the carrier signal and then reaches the other end okay <clears throat> that is exactly what is called as a modulation okay and this concept uh, works in various spaces uh, this is the concept with which a, a, a radio works this is also a concept with which a tv works this is also a concept with which it transmission or information technology transmission works okay um, and this is also uh, uh, not not exactly this, but this is also the way in which uh, uh, any voice communication, for example, a mobile signal or a telephone signal, everything works. All the end devices, like you know, um, on the side of the ground, you have two two people. All the person who is sitting standing on both sides does is one person tries to wrap it around, the other person tries to unwrap it. Make sense? So just to give a bit of a context around why we talk about this, we talk about connecting two computers which are geographically apart, physically apart. And then you connect to that person through a medium called as internet. This is all very putting in simple terms, okay? Through a medium called internet. Internet is nothing but a collection of computers connected between each other. Um, and you know there are some devices which helps in transmitting the data from one person one one end to the other one of the one of the device such device which helps in doing this is called modem okay i think i have a picture of a modem probably yeah can you see this no this is not a modem uh, where's my where's this okay i'll get you one okay anyway so the modem is nothing but a, a, a device which helps in connecting uh, or converting a signal uh, from digital signal, which is what zeros and ones are uh, from a computer, which goes out of the computer. It, it actually modulates that, which means that it converts it into an analog form. An analog form is nothing but the form that I just described to you. It is like this. You have got a wave in the form of a sine curve. This is called a sinusoidal curve. And this is analog. And what is digital is a similar one. Sorry about my this thing, guys. A digital curve is like this. Okay. The problem with sending this digital form directly is because it can't travel huge distances. Only an analog signal can travel huge distances. So that is why you convert a digital signal into an analog signal. And that process is called as uh, modulation. Likewise, the modem also helps in converting an inbound analog signal. Say for example, 
um, Arif said or someone said, um, Rishi said that, you know, he's connecting his um, router. It's actually not the router which helps you connect to the internet. It's actually the modem which connects, helps you connecting the internet. What a router does, anyone, can anyone tell me what a router does? And what, or what is the difference between a modem or a router? May I? Yes. Yeah, 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 please. R router, uh, router is yeah. a Wi-Fi, we, we call that. That, that can access in all uh, computers. It may, it may be available for both devices, mobile, any devices, internet and modem. The, the, the difference between a modem and modem and a router is that modem can only connect to the computers. Wi-Fi can connect to all. Um, that's exactly not not how it works um it's, it's it's a you know fairly good understanding but um what i would say is that's exactly not what a modem is used for a modem is used for getting you hooked into internet a router is something it doesn't really matter which device you are connecting it could be it could be a it could be your laptop it could be a mobile or it could be your fridge or washing machine at home you know, these, there are devices nowadays which comes in which are all called Wi-Fi enabled. What it does is it helps you connect to multiple devices. So, um, assuming um, you are sitting at, at your home, Arush, um, and this yeah. is not just applicable to Arush, this is applicable to anyone. Um, Arush sits at home. Arush has got, um, your parents have got your own, their own mobiles, your siblings, whoever is your brother, sister, they have got your own, their own, um, their own devices connecting to internet. Yeah. And assuming there is a Wi-Fi capability within your house. Okay? okay. So what you do is you, you connect to a device by clicking your Wi-Fi option in your mobile or devices. And then that helps you connect to a device which is called okay. as a router, okay? Yeah. And the uh -huh. router is, so the problem that you guys have today is because all these functionalities of mod modulation, demodulation, routing or switching all happens in one device and yeah. you call it a Wi-Fi router. Yeah. Actually, in, in reality, what happens is that same device has got multiple functions. In, 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 in the, in the, uh, when I was, when I was, um, you know, studying or when I entered this um, industry, um, you know, at that point in time, we didn't have everything combined. We had different devices doing different purposes. We had a switch or a router. We had a modem, which, you know, I don't know, maybe your parents would know. They would, they would be connecting to your internet and then you're dialing it out to the internet. You know, though, though that, that was called a modem. I'm not sure if you have seen it, probably not, not at your age. But technology got evolved and they are, uh, people, the company started combining everything into one, one box, which, and they, they started giving you wireless capabilities. Earlier, there were no wireless capabilities. All you had is you had to connect a cable from your computer, pull the cable across and connect it behind that switch. Okay, and then from that switch goes into the modem and from the modem, it goes into the telephone line and that's how it used to work. Yeah. But things have all changed now. Now you have got a, a, a broadband socket coming in and then you've got a router and then you just connect a wire to the broadband modem or a socket at your house. And then from that, you have got a Wi-Fi enabled device. You've got, you can connect 10 or 20 devices, whatever number of devices you have at home. Yeah. But end of the day, this device, which is enabling you connecting your wireless is also doing the modulation and demodulation, which will help you send the signal to the outside world. Okay. okay? So it's okay. called as a modem Wi-Fi router. So, um, but you need to understand that there are multiple functionalities which are, which are performed by these devices. One is the function of connecting to internet. The other one is the function of connecting devices within your home. Yeah. The function of connecting within the devices within your home is, is a function of a switch. 
and then there is a function which converts all the devices data and then forward it to a modem which is called the router that is routing the information that is why it is called as a router yeah so it receives information it sends information out yeah that is why it is called a router now how yeah. does it send the information out these are all digital signals which are received by these devices when it sends out it is also digital it reaches the modem it converts into an analog device analog signal and sends it out yeah so makes okay. sense makes make sense, sense. No? yeah yeah okay so sir um yeah the router works like a modem right i mean uh, the router works with the help of a modem now router connects to internet through a modem oh it connects uh, to the internet through a modem so the modem is probably not a new device today because it is functionality within the same device but you need to understand the role of that device that box that is sitting at home has got three functionalities one is switching functionality which enables you your parents and your siblings connect to internet okay, okay. to receive the data you can also send data between yourselves then it also helps you uh feed that you know collect all that information feed it to the modem that is called as a router so it's got a switch it's got a router and then it has got a modem all this combined is what you call today as your router oh okay but it is not just one routing function it does it does three functions it does a switching function routing function and modulation demodulation function Okay. So because because if you look at it right, you also receive information through that device. How does it receive information? All the reception rec receiving of information is through the functionality of modulation because it because a digital signal cannot travel this long. Okay, so okay. it actually receives the information in the form of an analog signal, and then it converts that analog signal into digital signal. sends it to the respective uh, recipient say for example ritesh if you have um, if you have your parents at home mm -hmm. um, your your parents would be uh, sending some information to their friends and you will be sending some information to your friends you are now chatting with me over this this is there are multiple things which are happening inside the house yeah yes sir so these multiple things so so okay so look at it this way right so if we are chatting and then your parents are chatting as well our our chatting should not mix up because then it will be all wrong information getting handshake yeah yeah so the router functionality helps in distributing the data to the right person in the right way okay so through a mechanics mechanics of routing and switching okay so it yes, knows sir. where the data came from where it is going to go back all that information is maintained within the system and the entire box is what you call as a wifi router has got the modem and switching functionality as well okay sir okay, okay. everyone else is clear on this because you you need to clearly understand this otherwise um, you know whatever we are going to chat about in in the forthcoming slides it will not be easy for you to understand so it is important that you you keep a close watch of this listen to this and understand this now i'll go to the slide okay is anyone confused or is there anything that you need to know further no no we understand okay okay sir all right you can call me jay um so uh okay so how does internet work step 1 your device is connected to the web through a modem or a computer which allows it to connect to other networks around the globe okay simple statement nothing much to uh, detail about a router is the other functionality of your box that is sitting at home uh, allows multiple computers to join the same network while a modem connects to the internet service provider now let me give you an example right now just as a uh, at the start i asked uh, you know how do you connect to internet and arush told me arush connects to internet using your geo uh, service provider sim um, you know which has got an enable mobile uh, mobile device at home 
and that mobile device is the one which he's using to connect to internet okay so mobile so what arush might have done um arush you don't have to hide yourself eating please go ahead and eat it doesn't matter um um so basically um when you connect to internet um so arush uses his mobile um and rishi uses his uh, wi-fi router if you look at it um arush uses a mobile but you might think that okay is my mobile also a modem uh, the answer is no uh, um, and and uh, does it act as a router the answer is yes okay um in in the case of a uh, uh, a mobile technology uh, mobile technology emits data or distribute data in the form of radio waves okay it is in a way a modem but it is not exactly doing what a conventional modem would do okay um does it is it is it too much for you guys to or is it is it okay what i have just it, said it's okay it's okay yeah okay so in the case of a mobile mobile helps you connect to internet through uh, your your connectivity with jio or airtel or any other you know wherever you are you will have a mobile service available in that country um so they 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 help you connect to internet but your mobile typically you can say that it is a modem but it is not actually doing what a conventional modem would do because it has got a different way of connecting to internet um which is through a a combination of devices um in the form of a radio um uh, you might call it a you might be calling in different names that radio connectivity slash internet through the name of a 3g a 4g a 5g these are the different ways of connecting to um your internet um using that device okay so it does the functionality of modem is there in one way uh, but it is not exactly how a modem in the conventional um dialing network or a dsl network or a you know optical fiber network that you have at home would work however the mobile device has got something called as a um, a, a routing capability and a switching capability because it has got another radio which acts as a wifi router a wifi enabled device and it has also got the switching functionality within that device okay which is called which you might just to put things in perspective you might have seen something called as a wifi hotspot have you seen that have you like seen so when you use uh, data or something like that you get a option for hotspot yeah so a wifi hotspot is nothing but your mobile device acting as a switch okay um and it gives capability to others to connect to that device and then connect it to the um uh, to internet or any other network using the connectivity it has through its sim card make sense yep okay i think um 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 uh, is it yeah it's almost 6 o'clock now which is in australia uh, we have to probably wrap it up uh, basically um i think we spent too much time in modulation and demodulation which is okay because you need to understand this um I, and and anyone has any questions around this because we we spoke about two types of connectivity one is your conventional way of connecting to internet and the other one is your mobile using your mobile devices or a you know a, a wifi dongle that you get from uh, from your shop um, one of these devices all of these in, in internally perform the functionality of a router switch slash modem okay is that is that clear to everyone yes sir 